Singer and guitarist John Mayer is a very talented musician. He's also got some political feelings, which he's sharing with the rest of us. He's unhappy about Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation. So unhappy, in fact, that he interrupted a concert last night to go on a lengthy rant about something called toxic masculinity. I don't want it to be the male contract. I'm telling you that's the contract, and we have to tear the contract up. You do not possess the universal ability to have any woman that you see. And I'm just going on record as revealing the trauma of men feeling like they've fallen short of a alpha male contract that nobody can live up to. And until we get rid of that in men, we won't have the life that we all deserve. I'm going on record, says John Mayer, that I'm against men behaving badly. John Mayer has been accused of behaving badly. Maybe this is a preemptive strike against further accusations. We don't know. Uh, but there is more evidence he's short woman than there is for Brett Kavanaugh. But that doesn't mean his rant was surprising. Harvey Weinstein, you remember, was a big defender of women, too. Do we sense a theme here? I think we do. Anusha Hussain is a feminist and a columnist and game enough to join us tonight. Thanks all for coming on. Thanks for having so, me. So, look, I don't, I don't doubt anyone's sincerity, yours or John Mayer's. So I just want to, and I just want to restate, I think John Mayer's a really talented guy. But I remember his song, Your Body is a Wonderland. And in it, he's got this line, one pair of candy lips and your bubblegum tongue. I could go on, but I'm just wondering, is that an example of toxic masculinity right there? No, it isn't. I mean, it depends on what you think about toxic masculinity. And I actually agree with you, Tucker. I mean, John Mayer, a couple of years ago, I don't think I would have been agreeing with much that he was said. He used to be such a such a dude, and he said many offensive things. But I think it's a very good example, his recent statements about how men can evolve and, and change. And by the way, toxic masculinity isn't about saying your body is a wonderland. It's actually about men being violent towards women. And that song was written well, for his look, girlfriend every, at the time. Everyone is against men being violent toward women. But I wonder yes. if the standard isn't different. If Brett Kavanaugh's calendar from 1982 had, you know, basketball with squee and then your body is a wonderland and your bubblegum tongue, I mean, you would have called for his arrest, right? Well, yeah, but John Mayer wasn't up for the Supreme Court, right? I mean, you're talking oh, about two different so men. so he wasn't in the way of Democrats assuming political power. I get no, it. it's I just totally a completely different... I'm looking for a it's universal... A it's not state. the same yeah, thing, totally Tucker. It's not the same uh -huh. thing at all. I'm, One man is a singer, and the other man was up for the United States Supreme Court. And yeah, a very right. serious and allegation... in the way of Democrats... But a very serious allegation so, came up against Kavanaugh, and that didn't happen with John Mayer. Has anybody ever accused John Mayer of sexual assault and look, testified? And I, I, look, I, and I hope not, and I'm not, I'm not even attacking John Mayer at all. I just well, want to know what the standard okay. is. Is that there's such a thing as toxic masculinity, which is men being male? Is there such a no, thing as No, that is actually toxic... completely wrong. That's not well, there's correct no at definite, all. There's no, 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 no definition. There is a definition. It's just like some made-up dumb feminist no, term. There isn't, there's no actually. real definition. <laughs> there's actually been course. studies but done on it. It's an academic studies. term and it's about oh, violence it's against women. Oh, it's Now you further women. discredited it. Uh -huh. But let me ask you this. Um, no, I haven't is actually. Is there some such look a up, thing? Uh, look it up, Look it up. We're talking about violence against women. Maybe I'll get right on that. We're talking about a pop star. Please do. Look, everybody's against violence against women. Let's be clear about that. I want to know if there's such a thing in the academic. Okay, that's your definition. Let me ask you, what is the definition of toxic femininity? I don't think there is a definition of toxic femininity. There are and a ton of women. Find... Oh, there isn't. Oh, there's okay, not. A, so there are a lot what of women in prison for shooting. Well, I, I have no That's... idea. Actually, you know, okay. I'll be honest with you. I don't think that inherent qualities are ever toxic. I don't think there's such a thing as toxic Gee, homosexuality think... or toxic masculinity or toxic femininity. I think the whole idea is insane. People act but in you, a way that's but bad. But you are that not understanding what the bad. definition is, and you're completely I understand uh, confusing two, what it is. two different points. No, you're not. Well, then you Toxic tell me why can is we... not inherent, and not all men are oh. violent and bad. Breaking news, Tucker. Not all men are but violent why, and bad. That's and not, so not actually news about to me what, as a what man. What John Mayer said. What's so controversial about that? He's saying don't feel entitled to women. And we are talking, you know, this is coming on the heels of okay, but, but a really let me ask intense you, hold on, hold on, time. Wait, slow down. Can I ask century. you a serious question? Okay, okay. Please uh, do. It is an intense time, but I think all of us as adults have an obligation to think as clearly as we can. That's why you shouldn't so it is, define it has toxic been a commonplace. Incorrectly. There's no definition of it, as you know. It's a bunch there of is. ludicrous low IQ no, academics. You're making saying that. Go along. That's not correct. And you know, Tucker. but it is true. But no, let me ask you very isn't. quickly. Why not just say 
abuse is bad. Toxic masculinity is a quality that is inherent in men. You're attacking an inherent quality. But you not know toxic that perfectly well, which is why you'll not concede that no, there's such a thing as toxic femininity. No, because you don't know what you're talking about. Toxic masculinity oh, is I not inherent. Well. No, you don't, because you're completely <laughs> yeah. misdefining it. It's incorrect. Yeah. Okay. I need to read more academic journals, and I will. Anastasia, great to see you. Just do Thank a you. Google search. Thanks. <laughs>